welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a set of acrylic nails because we haven't done them for so long. So I've got my Eliana hand. This is Anais in the shade Autumn, and it's a half hand, and I absolutely love it. It's got Sarah Birch Elite tips on, coffin tips. They're really long. I love them as well. Uh, right, we have got also um, Rachel Wilder's acrylic. So I've got whipped cream clear candy i'm not going to use too many i didn't want to complicate things i thought i'd keep it nice and simple and dainty and then glitter wise we're obviously using nail sugar caspian kisses this is chameleon confetti it's look it's absolutely gorgeous whoa it's so nice you can get 10 percent off using my code natmug 10 off the glitters um we're going to be using rachel wilder's uh, premium liquid monomer i just dug out this acrylic brush i don't even know where it came from well i think i might do but it, you can't get hold of them it turns out i don't like it anyway so all i do is put the clear base on and then i swap it over to a different brush um so yeah so the aliana hand you can get five percent off anything from aliana hand using my code natmug5 as well these hands are slightly more expensive but as you can see in my opinion they're probably the realist most realistic on the market and if you are like me doing things like this for social media i i, I want it now i'm at that stage now where i want it to look you know real um now don't get me wrong that said i still love the flexi hand um i feel like the flexi hand is really really good if you're training i feel like it, it's more expensive uh, no it's not it's more um affordable but it also it, it's really good for training whereas so i'm not training anymore although I, honestly the, you watch my application on this set this is like oh it's it's a bit of a mess but i feel like it turned out all right in the end so all i'm going to say is trust the process <laughs> but yeah but because i'm doing this for social media i did want something a little bit more realistic but that said i would still absolutely recommend the flexi hand if you are training um so we're putting on our clear base now if you're doing this on a client they may want a new design in a couple of weeks so if you pop a clear base of acrylic on you can fold the design right down to this clear base uh, and then you won't end up with you know any of the old also it just sort of protects the the natural nail underneath from any i don't know um sometimes some colors might stain the nail oh this is my scarlet center brush i haven't used it for a long time so it kind of looked a bit rusty but i gave it a clean up and you can see the size difference so i do end up using a lot more beads with this one um i don't know i i do i yeah i don't know i did have another one that was slightly bigger but i don't know where it's gone uh, it's, it's around somewhere but yeah this one i do it ugh, what me watching myself put this on is like really what's the word what's the word frustrating maybe frustrating is not the quite word quite the right word but i end up doing it in loads of beads because this brush is quite small i'm um, on two of the nails i want to do a smile line because I, I'm French, I'm still not very good at doing a French. However, I do feel like they turn out a lot better on these, on this set. This nail, I can't remember if it was this one. I think it's this one because of the state of it in a minute. Um, my, I actually went to put a bead on and i had a knock at the door it was a someone buzzed the buzzer and i had a delivery and um they didn't bring it up they left it downstairs so i had to put the bead on like half half kind of put on and run and get my parcel and then obviously by the time i'd come back up the bead had already kind of set itself up so i couldn't i couldn't um yeah, I think it was, the, is it, I don't know which bead it was. It might even be the other nail, but this nail, because it's the first one I've done for a little while, it look, it just looks an absolute state. I wanted to put another bead at the back, at the back to make my apex, because I, when I do stuff like this, I always worry that there's, was it this, was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. It was that bead. It was that bead. That was the bead. That was the bead and uh yeah the the yeah 
the delivery man came and oh my goodness I was like that was really really bad timing if ever I you know <sighs> so there we go so this one and again 50 million beads but when I do this I like to make sure that I have got enough acrylic on the nail so that I could just file it into shape sometimes I've seen people do the do the do the smile line and then do the color and then cap in clear but I think it looks a lot I think it looks a lot crisper when you have just when you have the enough oh I'm so sorry I'm just not very with it today I didn't sleep I did I slept all right but you know when you I just feel tired this morning um I, I think it looks crisper when you have enough product on there without having to cap it in clear when you're doing a French I would have liked a bigger brush to be fair but I had to work with what I had this one's not terrible I do still think I need the I, I do need a I need to find a better brush I do want to try one of Rachel Wilder's brushes actually so I might I might treat myself at some point so I'm just trying to make sure that I keep a rough you know a rough shape of what I want the smile line to be I'm not too fussed because I will obviously give it a file to neaten it up but you still you know if you still keep it as neat as you can it will make your life a bit easier when you come to file it again look 50 million beads this one was a bit better than the last one though not gonna lie <laughs> I just, I really, really hate putting acrylic videos up because I just think like my application is just a right nightmare. Um, this is, this nail, I'm going to do a full nail of the dainty, um, this dainty acrylic has got uh, a little shimmer of glitter. Can you see how misty my monomer is getting? I will show you later. When I come to cap it, I do change my, my acrylic out. I, I take that out and put some new acrylic in. Because if I capped the nail with that, it would the, the the clear acrylic would just go misty as well. So I do change it out when I come to cap because I want you to be able to see how gorgeous the the glitter is, which we're going to put on this nail. So I'm making sure that I've got my pink base down. So this doesn't have to be thick because we are going to go over this with the Caspian. Was it Caspian Kisses? I think that's what it was called got it right here actually i still haven't put it away yeah caspian kisses chameleon confetti so when i put this on i get a really tiny bead of clear acrylic i dip it into the glitter and i just spread that all over the nail if your acrylic underneath is still wet you might be able to just put it straight onto the acrylic but i always like to pick mine up with a small wet bead of clear acrylic just so, I don't know, I just find that when I do that, when I come to cap it, the glitter doesn't move move around. I'm just going to have a swig of Diet Coke. I've got to take my nan to the opticians in a minute. Well, I say in a minute. In about an hour and a half. So hopefully I'll have time to edit this before I have to disappear. So I wanted to make sure, I don't mind if there are gaps in this glitter, but I did want to cover as much of the nail as possible in this glitter because it's gorgeous and I've not used it yet. There are two other com chameleon confettis on Nail Sugar's website. So do go and have a look. Again, I think I said earlier, but you can get 10% off using my code NATMUG10. I will link, um, I don't have a discount code, but I will link Rachel Wilder's website down um, in the description box as well. Um, it's, that's where I get my um, acrylic and my monomer from. And I'll probably get my brush from there soon, very well, uh, very soon as well. So she has got some other nice stuff on her website as well. She does, um, she's got all sorts on there. She's got gel polishes, nail art stuff. I'm sure she does acro gel as well i'm just not into acro gel but yeah go and have a look she's got some nice stuff um so yeah this nail i want to do the same ish as what i've done on the pinky but i 
I'm going to leave the bottom clear. So I'm going to put the glitter at the bottom over the clear part of the nail. So you, you don't actually, in the end, you don't really see that it's kind of clear. But you, you can and you can't. It kind of, I mean, it wouldn't matter if it wasn't clear. I've got them right in front of me. I think they're so pretty. I'll have to try and use those other chameleon confetti so you can see what they look like as well. So this, this one, I'm not putting the glitter all the way up the nail. I'm going to kind of do, I'm just going to kind of like fade it up a little bit. The pink in this is lovely. The pink glitter, the, the, um, the chunky pink glitter in this is lovely. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> right, now these nails, I am, now that they have a set, I'm going to file around the smile line just to neaten them up. Because if I just put the, the acrylic on, the smile line would be all kinds of crazy. So I've done them both. Look, now they're all nice and neat. And fortunately, I managed to get them pretty much the same the same length, which was which was helpful. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to add my white acrylic. This is the whipped cream acrylic to the free edge. I, I'm never sure. I, I think when I do this, I always add too much acrylic. But I always think I'd rather have too much than not enough. But what I do is, I did actually, I put my white on. And don't worry as well if it's messy because you're going to file it. And it's going to file that, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to file through the, the white. And it's going to bring that smile line to life kind of thing. So don't worry like if you go over it. Not the end of the world but what i do do is i do add some clear acrylic just to where the what is it where the smile line meets the free edge just in case i didn't put enough white on i really like these tips by the way but I don't think I'll show you me putting the clear on because I oh, I keep I kept knocking this bit here so I'm gonna do the same with the yeah with this nail I've done exactly the same and then what I will do is you can see look at the state of my monomer now so there's not a lot left in there so I'm just gonna dab it out with a kitchen towel I'll throw that away and then I will put some new clear well it's not clear it's violet but i've put some new mono monomer in there so that when i come to cap now um hopefully as long as my brush isn't too dirty <laughs> um we should just get a nice clear finish which i think if you watch to the end i think it, i was quite successful so again when because i've got a small brush i think this is just a size eight brush i do end up capping in about 50 million beads but don't worry if you're new to acrylic and you're having to do like you you watch on youtube you'll see people put in acrylic on one nail in like one bead that's brilliant but if you can't do it don't it's not the end of the world um as long as you get and and don't forget you can file it as well so i mean so some people you'll see them put their one bead of acrylic on and it almost looks the perfect shape that is not everyone's going to be able to do that I can't do it <laughs> so just put as many beads on as you want I don't know oh yeah I was just showing you then I still needed to put some acrylic at the top to create an apex because otherwise it, yeah you've, anyway um yeah it doesn't matter how many beads you put on and it doesn't matter really what it looks like after you've applied the acrylic because when you come to file it that's when you know the shape's gonna come in and and, and stuff so don't be too hard on yourself Although, I mean, mine, look, they look like a right mess, don't they? And it is, I, I don't know, I always I always feel a little bit worried about showing my acrylic because my acrylic application isn't perfect. But, you know, at the end, I kind of get the result that I want. So I'm not, you know, I've, I'm learning now not to be too hard on myself. So there we go. 
That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to fill in any sort of gaps I've got where I feel like I'm going to file it and there's going to be some kind of lumpy bits. I'm kind of just, I'm just trying to fill in any bits that I think there might be ridges or like little dips just because dips are a nightmare. Um, and then once I've done that, also, yeah, the sides, I didn't want to file away at some of the acrylic on the sides. So, and again, I'm probably putting way too much on. I, I was really, really bad for putting too much acrylic on when I was, when I first, um, yeah. Oh, this, yes, 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 yes. Right. Melody Susie have sent me kindly an Artemis um, nail e-file to review. Um, I, I don't know if I'm biased. I don't think I am biased. I genuinely really, really like their um, e-files. Um, in this one, they've put some sanding bands. You've got a set of these. Now, generally, these, 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 um, the, the, what do you call it? The bits that come with the e-file aren't that great, generally. So I probably wouldn't use those. But you've got the plug with the adapter if for it for the UK. That white thing on the right hand there is a uh, rest for the handpiece. Um, that sticks that what clear thingy there slots on the side of this um, e-file so that you can slot your handpiece in. So you've got a clip because it's a portable one so you can clip it to a belt or your trousers or whatever. Um, the input is where you put the adapter to charge it. This is the on off button. So as you can see if you turn it on, oh and there's your forward and reverse. And then that output slot is where you put the handpiece. Um, the handpiece is pink and white, which is quite nice because it obviously matches the hand rest and the actual e-file bit itself. The, I don't, really, I don't know what you call that bit. If this is the handpiece, what's the other bit called? I don't know, but that, look, that's a, a rest for you. Ta-da! If you want to use that. Uh, this bit goes into, not the input, it goes into the output. And then you've obviously got your lot. I don't know what R and S means. But it's like a lock and an unlock. That's your safety bit. We're going to take that out. I'm going to grab one of my bits that I'm going to use and pop that in. And then when you twist it, it's locked in nice. And I actually quite liked this handpiece to hold because it felt, it felt, um, it's obviously got a kind of plasticky, silicony cover on it or whatever. I don't know. But it was quite nice to hold. So you can see as you spin that round. Oh, you can't really see but it's getting faster and faster so you kind of just put it on the the setting that you want and i mean i i was yeah i i done a little bit of i got like the bulk of of this bit off but as you can see i mean it's filing away like a dream i don't like i'm not e-file trained so you know don't do bear with me with this but i'm just kind of look i mean it's just coming off like a look like woo and it it didn't i didn't get I, my hand didn't feel i don't know it's basically it's a nice it's, it's a nice e-file and it's not overly expensive as well that's what i like about melody susie everything they sell for the price everything they sell is is really really good and um, but here's the big but i already have um a melody susie e-file in hat in fact i had a lot of them and i've just i'm trying to donate some of them <laughs> So because they've sent me another one, I am going to do a giveaway for this. But unfortunately, I'm only going to give it away to... I'm only going to post it to the UK. So if you're in the UK and you want a chance to win this e-file, I will pack it up all nicely for you and ship it out to you. Um, put in the comments something like... Uh, if you're in the UK... Or if you're not in the UK, but you know someone in the UK that could, will ship it to you... Um, then yeah i'm just i just want to ship it to a uk address because it's just it's it's just yeah it keeps costs down um hashtag tight bottom um anyway yeah if you want to be in for a chance of winning the e-file just write down in the comments um just write something like um uh Put Melody Susie e-file in the comments, in your comment. And that that will let me know that you're in the UK and you want to win it. And then I will randomly choose a winner at some point. And, um, I'll, yeah, I'll, or one of you getting, the winner will have to contact me and, and uh, give me their address. But, yes, so that's what's going to happen. Because otherwise, I've come to the 
conclusion that I've just like left with loads of stuff that I'm not using and I've already got their two-in-one lamp which I'm using um, and this might do someone else look at the state of my filing <laughs> but this will do someone else um, a massive favor so and you know it was free to me so it I will pay it forward this yeah basically pay it forward so I will box it up right in the comments Melody Susie e-file and yeah, if you're in the UK and you would like to win it, and then if I pick your 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 comment with that in it, then I will know that you could be a winner winner chicken dinner. Yes. Okay, so I filed, I actually went back to hand filing. Uh yeah, they've all been filed now. So I'm I'm quite happy with that. I'm just wiping them over with some ice proper alcohol to get the dust off. I've given my Aliana hand a quick wash in some soapy warm water just to get any any bits of you know acrylic off i will just show you quickly the nails from the side because some people like to see the side view of the apex and stuff and the shape or the structure whatever you want to call it of the nail so that is mine did i mention you can get five percent off aliana hand using my code natmog5 um all the links and discount codes will be down in the description box by the way um yeah so you can find them there right to finish off the set we are going to be using some of these little flowers i absolutely love these i couldn't find my white ones in the bag the pink ones down the bottom in that white tray are ones i got from amazon um but because i bought these other ones i thought i, I saw them on amazon and i thought oh they're nice i get lots of different colors so i thought well i'll get some of them too and um i didn't realize that they'd done something You'll see what I mean in a minute. So on the French nails, I'm going to put a white one on the pink and a pink one on the white. And I'm using my Crystal Totalist Gem Glue from Nelchemy. Because I like it. So I'm going to put a white one there. And then underneath that, I'm going to put a pink one, right? Okay. Okay. You watching? That's going to go in the lamp for a cure. I'm just going to quickly flash cure. And then look, then they come out and they've gone peach. And I was like, what's this? what's this magic what's happened here i don't like it i didn't like it they're not white now they're peach and i was like what are these color change ones so i put them all in the lamp and they come out really horrible colors Ooh, i really didn't like apart from the purpley one <laughs> but then i'm biased i would if i'd have known that they changed color i probably wouldn't have bought them <sighs> so anyway uh, I carried on, I soldiered on, and all I'm going to do is put three little ones along this cuticle area here on this nail. So I'm going to put a white one and then two pink ones either side. And they stayed peach for quite some time. I had to wait ages because I wanted to take a photo of them when they were white. Because I don't, although they don't look awful peach, because they kind of match, they kind of, kind of ties in with the goldy colour from the glitter. But I still, I still wasn't, um, yeah, I wasn't convinced with the peach. So there we go. Well, I'm just putting a little bit of gem glue in the, in between the, the like in the center of the flowers. Because we're going to put, right, if you see on, I can't, don't think you can see, but on my kitchen towel, I've got some caviar beads. These are antique gold caviar beads from Crystal Parade. I felt like the antique gold went better with the glitter as well the gold color in the glitter um so they're gonna go in between i just the, the caviar beads just kind of finish off the flowers don't they they look so cute i love them they're so cute and on this one as well and on this one as well and then i'm gonna give those a full 60 second cure and then I'm going to use Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat. This is the shiny one. I kid you not, it took me about 21 minutes to top coat these nails. So you know, you know when you get little bits of whatever in the top coat? I was faffing at you know, I tell you I'm a faffer. I don't, I'm not lying. I am a faffer. Um, so I I ended up doing each nail at a time. And this is one that took me six minutes on its own. <laughs> now, the good thing about the flowers is that it doesn't matter if you top coat over them because they are flowers. They're not crystals. 
So I'm going to stop this one here and throw it in the lamp, but I don't really. I'm just going to tell you I've thrown it in the lamp, even though I do continue to faff and get pick bits out of the top coat. Because it, I don't know whether it's the silicon from the hand or whatever, but just little bits of lint or fuzz or whatever. They And when they're long nails, when they're longer nails, there's a lot more chance of fuzz getting on those bad boys. So... I mean, look, you can see, I'm just, I just take him forever. I could see when I, it's the light, I have to have a smooth light line. And if the light line is not smooth, then I will get whatever is in the way of that light line and I will get it out. I've just top coated that other nail as well because I just, we would have been here all day otherwise. So also remember we've got this, the end, although you can't really see it, the end of this nail is clear. So I'm just gonna top coat the back as well. It just helps with that clarity. Don't do that with naked fingers. Pop it in the lamp. And then this is the finished the finish set. I am going to show you them. I think I, I do show you them in a minute when the... I say in a minute. In, it was in the light. It's probably about half an hour to an hour by the time they'd gone white again. Do I show you them white again? I don't know. I hope I do. What am I doing here? I don't even know what I'm doing here. Yeah, I was showing you the light line, I think. I was trying to show you the light line. I don't, I, I honestly, at this point, I don't know what I was doing. But they're so long. Look, and now they're white. Ah, no, they're white again. They're not a horrible peach. Yay. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It is completely free and you can always change your mind later, though I'd rather you stayed. I think that's it. Yeah. All the discount codes and links will be in the description box oh, look look at the look no nothing in the way of the light line i love it <laughs> apart from the flowers <laughs> of course anyway um thanks for watching god bless and i will let you lot continue to watch the end of this video because i don't know what else to say now <laughs> oh it's nearly finished here we go here we go and the end goodbye love you all